There we go. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good everybody. Welcome to this episode of Note Night in America. As always, I'm Scott Carson. Excited to be here with you guys tonight. Uh, sorry for a little bit of the delay technologically. Things weren't working, but it looks like they're working now. But anyway, we are excited to be here after a two-week hiatus. You figure you got President's Day, and then we also had uh, being in San Diego at Traffic and Conversion Summit. Um, lots of great stuff from last week. It, uh, for those that don't know, it's an amazing event. We'll get more of it a little bit later on. But for those that are joining us, hey, you missed us rocking out to MC Hammer beforehand. Uh, we always get started a couple minutes after the hour just to let everybody uh, give them all the opportunity to get logged in in case something happens. That way at 7 o'clock on, you're ready to rock and roll. But uh, welcome to Note Night in America. If it's your first time, we're excited to have you. We're honored that you would take time on your Monday evening. Trust me, I know there's no Monday night football and there's no baseball playoffs yet. So, <laughs> And the Olympics are over. What else you could you, uh, do on a note night or on Monday nights? Hey, join us, grow your business, educate yourself, and learn some new things. Because tonight we're going to share some really great nuggets for you. Um, absolutely had a great thing. Three big things um, that we'll share with you tonight. I think will change a lot of people's businesses if you take what we teach and implement them. Right? That's always the biggest thing. I know that only about five to ten percent of people actually implement something. Drives me bonkers because um, I wish more people would do that. The more you get around to implementing or taking action, the more successful you're going to be. So that's our biggest goal out here. But those that are joining us for the first time wondering who is on Note Night in America, we have real estate investors. We have note investors. We have people looking to get into notes. We have private investors looking to fund deals. We have a, a variety of people that join us here, not every Monday night, but when we don't have a holiday or I'm not traveling, uh, we have something going on. Yes, I have hit the record button, button, and it's being recorded. And you can catch these Note Night in America. You can catch all of our previous ones for sure at WeCloseNotes.tv. Uh, what we're doing now uh, with this year is we are uploading the audio to our Note Closer show, our podcast uh, out there. And we'll be actually taking the replays from these and not sharing them on just our Vimeo page for the most part. We'll keep those private for something we have going on later on. We'll share that a little bit later for you. Our goal is to get people that come to the webinars, listen in, be here, be present, and go from there. Um, we do have a, a very big goal that we have set for ourselves over the next five years, and that's why we're making a few changes to help us kind of measure those goals, because a goal is only good unless it has a written date and is measurable. I think we can all agree to that. Well, we've got a goal to help educate and create 10,000 note investors over the next five years. By the time 2023 rolls around, we want to have helped over 10,000 note investors really take their note business to the next level. Not to space, but to infinity and beyond, everybody. Um, we've got some big things going on. Um, and one of the things that we love to do is helping our students or people that are looking to learn a note business. And we've got a really great special going on. I wanted to share this with you guys because the special kind of ends this Thursday. It's a March Madness special that if you get signed up for our virtual workshop that this this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, our note buying for dummies workshop, basically the virtual note buying workshop. We'll throw in a ticket to the largest online note conference of its type, Note Camp 5.0. And we have got some great stuff going on Note Camp. I am so excited about that. But literally, sign up for $6.99 for the virtual note buying workshop. We'll throw in a ticket, which is right now going for $1.97 a piece to Note Camp 5.0. Yes, sign up for you and your spouse to the virtual. We'll give you two tickets. To note camp 5.0. So all you got to do is go to the uh, weeklosenotes.com, see virtual training, click on the thing to sign up for. You'll see it pop up. Hey, get a ticket to note camp 5.0 as well. But um, what's all involved in our virtual workshop? Like I said, this Friday through Sunday, nine to five on Friday, Saturday, all times are central. It's three days of pure content. Got some great stuff to go along uh, that we actually learned from this weekend and this past week that will help implement some things this next weekend, uh, we focus on the fine, the fun, the flip. It's nuts and bolts training for you guys, and especially this workshop around, we're going to focus on a lot on finding assets because that's where a lot of people struggle with. Uh, just finally got the opportunity to pay, take and put some um, asset manager list, final, finalize the combination of the 20-plus people that were working through the banking blitzkrieg to call back asset managers for us. Over 5,000 phone calls were made over four weeks. It's a tremendous amount of new things. We're excited about the asset managers list. I have not yet emailed out to the list. We're getting ready to do that tomorrow. But our workshops are 100% live. They're online. We've got some great speakers that are coming out, asset managers, 
servicing company, special asset managers coming out to really share. Uh, yes, once you uh, do sign up for the virtual workshop and or note camp, you do get the recordings. Recordings are included with that as well. Like I said, cost is $6.99, but we're going to throw in two tickets of note camp for you as well. So that's literally uh, over $400 in bonuses with that stuff as well for you. Um, like I said, sign up this week and you'll get note camp thrown in. Our class kicks off this Friday. So if you can't make it all three days, don't worry about it. Make it what you can, but you get the replays the following week as well, which is really nice for you guys, okay? Um, our Note Camp 5.0, um, that's April 5th through the 8th. We'll have close to 1,000, if not more than 1,000 people on it. 30-plus speakers or four days of content. We kick off at noon on that Thursday. We'll have two rooms for two different speakers for you to listen to most of the time. Um, we're excited about that. Yes, the recordings are included with No Camp uh, 5.0 as well. We're not going to charge you 300 bucks or 400 bucks like other expos do. That's included in the ticket price. Some great, great stuff with that. Along with that, uh, like I said, 1,000 attendees. Why is that important? Well, no other event is going to give you the list of registrants that come to the event. That's right. We're going to give you the list of registrants who are in attendance so you can go out and expand your business exponentially okay now the 197 uh early bird price ends march 16th we've already had the extra early bird but you got to take advantage of that because the x i mean the early bird pricing is going to end in a week and a half at 197 it's going to go up to over 200 bucks at that point in for a couple of reasons everybody okay um you can get signed up at notecamp.live for just notecamp 5.0 notecamp.live but we are so jacked up We've got a couple amazing keynote speakers that I'm so honored to have. Um, I have to do a drum roll for myself here because it's so exciting. We've got our two keynote speakers, and I'm honored to have both of these individuals join us. The first one is somebody that I've called a friend for a while. Actually, both of these ladies I've known for years. And many of you have probably read a few books that she's been a part of. Think and Grow Rich. She co-wrote with Robert Kiyosaki, um, Outwitting the Devil. She basically rewrote after Napoleon Hill wrote it. Uh, Think and Grow Rich, Three Feet from Gold. She's a co-author with Greg Reed on it. Amongst a variety of other books, I am so honored to have my friend Sharon Lecter be a keynote speaker at Note Camp 5.0. She's got some great stuff. Um, don't know if she's going to be keynoting on Thursday or Friday. Still working out with the other keynote speaker on that schedule and stuff, but we are so jacked up to have her she's excited to come on spend an hour hour plus with us on one of those days at note camp 5.0 and so just we finalized this friday i believe it was this when she sent me a text message back and said yep honored to do it scott and so we're excited about that our next our other keynote speaker is a emmy award-winning expert on fear and overcoming obstacles a good friend of Oprah, you've probably seen her on Oprah a few times, she used to run her own daytime show on, on NBC, I believe it was, but it is the the wonderful, the amazing Rhonda Britton, who is known as a worldwide leader in overcoming fear, and actually so excited to have her join us as well. I spent some time with her this weekend, or last week, uh, last Tuesday in San Diego, and she is really looking forward to speaking at Note Camp 2.0. So it's the first time we've had... Not only one, but two female keynote speakers, because I really believe they've got a lot to offer up. Yes, we've had the Patrick Precourts and the Jason Cisneros and the Scott Duffy's and the Greg Reed's in the past. But I'm so honored to have these two women uh, be a part because they have both been very inspirational, not only to myself, but I know to many of you guys that have either read their books or been going through some things. And this Note Camp 5.0 is all about helping you light the path to success. And I believe both of these two women are going to deliver some amazing nuggets for you, those, those that are in attendance. So that's why we're excited about this. Take advantage of the reduced price. Get your tickets to this. Be able to have a, a front row seat with them on your computer. Be able to ask them questions live. You've so got such a great opportunity with both of these ladies. Um, appreciate it there that you went through uh, withdrawal there, George. Uh, glad to have you guys back on here. But we are so honored. I can tell you this. I did a happy dance when both of these ladies RSVP'd with me in less than 24 hours. So uh, excited about that. Uh, we were in the process of working to get Les Brown on as a keynote speaker. Unfortunately, schedule's too packed up. So Les will probably be on in October as a keynote speaker. So if you're hungry, you're going to be in the right spot here. So get signed up for Note Camp 5.0 by going to notecamp.live to grab your VIP tickets right now, everybody. So um, 
You got to, there's also a special. We got rocking and rolling here. I want you to let you guys know this too. March, just Quest IRA has a very special. Many of you opened an account last month. Um, big kudos to them. They went out and closed their most successful month with new accounts. The, if you missed it, don't worry about it. They've got a special run this month. Um, if you open them a new IRA, ESA, HSA, et cetera, whatever, they're going to go ahead and throw in, I want to say, I guess, donate. I guess you could say that. $125 to cover your first transaction on that asset. They're looking for people to be putting their money to work, not just depositing it in the account, but start putting your money to work. They'll actually pay that $125 fee, your transaction fee that they charge you to knock that out. So that's a great opportunity for you guys and your accounts. You've got to use the, the code WCN when you open that new account this month with them and let them know, hey, WCN is the code. And they'll help make sure you get that $125 extra put in your account to help you cover the transaction costs. So go to questira.com or give them a phone call at one eight eight fun iras to really rock it and get rock and rolling. So that was big of them. And Maria announced that this morning, our, our Monday Mondays podcast, uh, that we have them on the first Monday of every month with their newest schedule. And then also the newest bonuses for the month. And we're the only podcast that they're doing that for everybody. So we're really overjoyed to have them be such a great partner with us. So Take advantage of that. Uh, our podcast, Speak of the Devil, is over 69,000 downloads. We'll be at over 70,000 by tomorrow. Uh, overjoyed at that awesome, uh, awesome, just you guys do a great job listening. Uh, we'll keep throwing out the episodes as long as you keep listening and downloading. So uh, I know that some of you guys are looking for deals. Uh, Joel Markovich reached out to me right before we got to start at about 6 o'clock. said he had a couple REOs where the buyer just didn't wire funds. It just didn't show up. So Two REOs for sale here. One is in Montgomery, Alabama, the house on the left. It is vacant. Um, values in the mid-80s. They're looking for 69000 on the Montgomery, Alabama one, 505 Glade Park Loop. And the other one here in St. Louis, it's a duplex. So it's the far right building here, 3458 Alberta Avenue. Um, it has a tenant in place that you have to invict. And I want to say their price is 65 at that. Or I may sixty, maybe eighty five and sixty five or fifty nine for this one. So don't quote me on any of those. Um, decent deals, definitely for that stuff. Therefore, especially REO aspect around, make some quick money on that stuff. Um, reach out to Joel Markovitz at the Singer Law Group, and he'll be glad to help you out there. Or just drop me an email, and I'll make an official uh, email introduction. I, I'll send you over the BPOs and what he provided me really quickly before the call, and you get on the phone with him. But a couple of deals fell out that they had set to close, and Here's an opportunity. Montgomery, Alabama would be a great rental. I know uh, Dan Zatowski was looking at buying some stuff in Montgomery, Alabama, so I'm going to forward the deal over to him. But I want to give you guys that are joining us tonight the opportunity to maybe find a couple of deals that you come in. Hey, if you got a tenant in place there at the one in St. Louis, great. you got a built-in renter. I don't know rent rates or anything like that. Didn't have time to do a lot of due diligence on these. I just know that Joel asked me if I would – I'm glad to promote it for him. Okay? As always, guys, we are going to have a lot of deals and things rock and rolling here, especially going over the next 90 to 120 days. You're going to see some stuff pop up at us. Any questions about the events before we dive into the three big things tonight? Any, any questions about our upcoming event schedule or upcoming conferences? Once again, guys, like I said, if you sign up for the virtual workshop this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll give a ticket to Note Camp. April 5th through the 8th as well. I know you don't have to travel anymore for Note Camp. Note Camp's delivered 100% online and live, okay? Got some cool things we'll be rocking through. All right, so no questions. Let's dive into three big things. Now, I'm a big thing. I'm a big thing. Yes, yeah, so you just stand next to me. I'm a big guy. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, the times for Note Camp are going to be from the, on uh, Thursday. It'll be from noon to about 5 or 6. Uh, and then Friday, Saturday will be 9 a.m. to 6. Sunday will be 9 a.m. to 3. That's all going to be Central Standard Time, Gail. Okay? Central Standard Time. All right. So whenever I go to an event, especially like the one I went to this week, I always get a ton of ideas. Okay? Always look for nuggets. Okay? Um, Bob asked a question here. What does the other offer that the other doesn't? Okay. So, Bob, that's a good question. Note camp is more like a convention. It's not going to be nuts and bolts training. You're going to get a little bit of, of a broad knowledge base on notes. Okay. Note camp is just a broad knowledge base. You know, we'll have vendors, we'll have some different technology things, we'll have a few speakers, but it's not going to be a training class like the virtual. This weekend's a nuts and bolt class. This is a thing that I teach all weekend. 
for the virtual this weekend. Note Camp is a convention, a place for you to network, play for you, place for you to go and meet, talk with, network over, you know, hundreds and hundreds of other investors. So it's two different things. Okay, does that make sense, Bob? Note Camp is focused on content, actions, marketing, profit generating things. Okay, we're gonna have a variety of speakers. We're gonna have Don Rickabaugh join us for the first time on our front. Bob Zachemeyer join us as well. Of course, Quincy Long, Walter Wolford will be joining us on some owner financing stuff. So it's different than uh, what I completely teach with uh, just the virtual. Okay, good question though, Bob. That does come up quite a bit. What's the difference in the two? Set the price, uh, other things. Anyway, going back here on track, but thanks for the question, Bob. Appreciate it. Is I when I go to events, I try to walk out with three big things, or three big ideas. What can I implement? You know, don't get me wrong. A lot of times I'll come out with a whole lot more than three big things three big ideas. It's just hard to implement when you have a lot more. Now I've got a list of about 20 items long and I'll know I'll get to some of them um, over time. And so to understand what I'm getting into, the event I'm talking about is called the Traffic Conversion Summit. I'm not here to sell you on tickets because it's already come and gone. They won't be around until next year. But this is one of the events that Steph and I religiously go to. We've been going to it for the last four or five years. Anytime that the company called Digital Market puts stuff on, I try to see if my schedule is free to go to because they've just got great stuff to help me with my, not just my note business, but the, the way we market, um, tips, you know, t- tools, things that we can do. And it's it's a phenomenal thing. It's not a cheap ticket. I'll tell you that. Um, it, but it's well worth it because we get a variety of great ideas out of it. Uh, it's been around for nine years. This is the fourth year in a row that we've attended. It's been well worth every time we go. Usually the first day we get a nugget out of the pace for the, the cost of the, the, the travel. And listen, staying at the hotels and flying to San Diego and uh, going out to eat and stuff like that, that, you know, that can get expensive. And it, it's an expensive three days for us, but it's still okay because first and foremost, we, we find ourselves surrounded by 6,500 digital entrepreneurs and they're real estate investors. There's health and wellness. There's all sorts of trash and trinkets. It's a lot of digital entrepreneurs, a lot of digital marketing. Okay. And it allows for us to really get outside of our environment to be able to pick people's brains on what they're doing there, how they're delivering or how we can overcome hiccups that we're seeing or what are they doing to solve issues. So it's really nice that way. There's over a hundred vendors. I think there's maybe close to 150 vendors this time around. So there's vendors anywhere from like lead pages to Infusionsoft to um, click funnels, just a whole variety of different digital app, um, vendors there to help you out with your real estate business or whatever type of online business you have, whether it's from um, ClickFunnels or other things that help you with a more of a uh, help you with your business make smoother transition transitions, or do you help you collect if you're charging things or opting out of things, trying to help you fix your funnels. Okay, um, I love it because there's always great sessions, and they had literally four different, actually five different stages that were going each day for the most part. So there's well over a hundred sessions taking place. And there's no way I could possibly make them all. And there's no way even Steph could make them all if we split and conquered. But the beautiful thing is some of the sessions are a little bit of a repeat from what we've heard last year. Some things. So we're able to pick and choose some of the things that fit us the best, whether you're brand new or you're in the middle or you're a head honcho, they've got some different tracks for you. And what I love is I've learned a lot from how they run an event to help us better with note camp on things like that. And what's I'm really honored is that the lady that puts this whole event on, the, the big honcho that, that puts this on for digital marketer, Deanna Rogers, was my first ever assistant. And so I'm always honored to see her do an amazing job. And year in, year out, it just it blows us away. Tons of ideas, tons of experts on things. You can get, really get personal with a lot of great people out there on a minute basis. We had Damon John, who gave the keynote last Monday night. Um, so that's why I was not live on Note Night in America. I was actually with Damon John listening to him speak talking about some of the things that he has dealt with, some of the things that he sees, talking about the new book, about the rising grind that he's got coming out. Uh, yes, from Shark Tank. It was great listening to him. Uh, Tuesday night, uh, we had Dave Asprey, the CEO of Bulletproof Coffee. You know that a lot of you guys are out there. When I saw that photo, it's not exactly how he looked like. He had some slick shades on, looked a little bit different. But still, though, learned quite a bit of stuff from Dave sharing some of his knowledge and information of creating a company and building a company big up and doing what he needs to do to make Bulletproof the brand that it is. And then, of course, Wednesday morning, because the event's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I was lucky enough to hear Mari Smith, who is an amazing Facebook expert. Um, Scottish background, she shared some great nuggets about where Facebook is going, 
And it was kind of surprising to see some of the stuff, uh, but I'll share a few of her points a little bit later on. But anyway, so we get, if, that just gives you a drop in the bucket of some of the people that are there. And a, a lot of the talk was about using like Facebook Messenger bots and things like that. And I'm not going to get into that because most of you aren't even close to doing that. So I tried to look at my notes and I took pages and pages of notes. I used rev.com on my phone to transcribe or to record the audio to get transcribed. I should be getting those back later today. Um, what's beautiful about it, this is that there's so much to choose from and so many things that you need. And so what I looked back at my notes and figured, okay, what are the three biggest things that I think is going to help you guys and gals out there really grow your business big, big ideas that are implementable, that you can easily, you could implement with a little time, a little dedication. Now, a little disclosure here. Every time I leave Traffic Convergence Summit, I feel like I want to come home and blow everything up. Stuff can, I walk out of there sometimes depressed because like, oh, there's some cool things. We're not doing things. And then I look back to where we are compared to a lot of other people. We are, I think, way far ahead of a lot of the people when it comes to marketing in the real estate and the niche business. We're not exactly where we want to be, but we've got goals and we add a little bit every year. We peel, put, add another layer to that onion that helps us be who we are with WCN. And so these next couple slides are the three biggest things I think are going to be the most helpful for you guys uh, out there. Uh, Anthony asked a question, what did I use to record? Uh, what I use to record is a, a, a app on my phone called rev.com. It's who we use to send videos to that they transcribe. Uh, they'll do it for a dollar a minute. So if you got a 60 minute presentation, you're gonna pay 60 bucks to get transcribed. And it literally, I just hit here, it records it. Boom, I can upload it, label it and send it out to have it sent back to me, usually done in 24 hours. So rev.com, well worth it, Anthony. Very easy for notes and, and, and works out really, really well, okay? So let's go, the first big idea came actually from a podcaster out there. And no, I don't expect you guys to go out and be podcasts, but a guy by the name of John Lee DeMoss, okay? Now, uh, John runs a podcast called Entrepreneurial on Fire, EO on Fire. He runs a great podcast, a couple podcasts, over 5 million, 7 million views, okay, downloads. Um, no, this is not about podcasting. What I liked what John shared with the group is he shared his idea and the belief that you have to have an up and a down funnel. What's that mean? You have to have an up funnel and then a down funnel for where you want people to go. How do you attract them and how do you direct them on where do they go? It's kind of the journey. The big idea is to, it's just to create a, a really nice journey for people that come into your tribe, that come into your atmosphere, that come into your, your, your kind of your, your, your area. So you, does that make sense? Okay. Um, I know you don't need a podcaster to go through and understand what I'm talking about. All right. So don't think that alone, but I really love what he shared with his up and down funnel. And now what I've kind of done is kind of take it, okay, a little bit and try to tweak it down a little bit for you guys. And I want you to think of what's the journey for your tribe? Do you meet them at a, a real estate club, get their business card, and that's about it? Do you connect with them on LinkedIn? Do you send them an email once a month? And that's about it. Do you connect with people on Facebook? And that's about it. And I see a lot of people that just, a lot of times they'll go and throw shit against the wall. Me being guilty of this as well, okay? Throwing crap against the wall. Oh, I got a little bit here, a little bit here. And trying to piece it all together as an entrepreneur. Because today's different than it was two years ago. It's different than when it was five years ago. It's different than when it was, you know, 10 years ago as a real estate investor. It's a whole different ball game than what it was when I first started calling on notes, calling asset managers. Some things the same, but the whole follow-up and the journey is completely different. And if you think about this, you think about a journey, Think about this way. If you go to the mall and you start going to Nordstrom's, well, the first thing you go to Nordstrom's for one thing is you go because there usually has higher quality stuff. You already know that word of mouth, right? You've heard word of mouth. You go there. It's everybody's dressed nice. The store is spotless. They got the coffee spot right there to help entice you in with coffee. Most of the, the uh, people working there are nice. And then you, they, they, they go out of the way to find something for you. I love shopping at Nordstrom's. Okay, They, they really have anything that fits me with my arms or my legs, but that's okay. <laughs> I still enjoy going there and checking out because everybody's, they're like, oh, you know, they, they make it easy for you. They don't even go to the register. They you know, just swipe your credit card there and type it all in there straight in their palm. And then after you leave, 
then you're gotten phone calls and you're getting emails. It's in a good way. It's not over the top, but that's a great custom journey. You know, oh, hey, here's a discount or here's something come back to us or hey, happy birthday. It's a great journey if you think about that. And you have to start thinking about what is the journey that you're giving people? Are you giving them a lot of little like short little journeys and get out of the car or, or little journeys to nowhere? The reason I ask this is because I think we're all guilty of that. Like I said before, I know I've been guilty of that in the past and my journey is still not as clean as what it should be. What I'm doing to help you guys succeed is not as clean as it should be. And so I want you to really think about that over the next slide of what are you doing before you meet your prospective note investors or your clients or buyers or sellers? What are you doing during the process? And then what are you doing after you've contacted them or after you've closed or done things? It's something that we all can get better at on a regular basis, me being the first one. So I thought I kind of condensed the, the two things into this kind of eight steps to drive traffic aspect of things. And by traffic, that's people to your website, people to your database, things like that. One, the first and foremost thing that we all have to do is identify your avatar, okay? And if you don't know who your avatar is, I'll give you kind of what my avatar is, okay? Our avatar, which is our ideal client, is somewhere with 35 to 65, um, college-educated homeowner. Um, they make somewhere between 75 and 250 a year. Um, they have usually a CEO or OOO or something like that in their um, job title, or they're an entrepreneur. Um, they are interested in, they're usually buying things online, especially for their house, do a lot of online shopping. And then ultimately, um, usually our family, weren't they? they have kids, they're married. Um, that's kind of our avatar of what we see. Um, you know, business management, um, we do get a lot of engineers, but some sort of business degree we see a lot. Of. Now, don't get me wrong, we do get dentists, we do get doctors. Um, but for the most part, we get those doctors and dentists after they've gone through some sort of business wake up in their business. They don't usually do it or off the back because they're too busy running an organization or running a practice. So the more you can niche down and identify your avatar, the better off you're going to be. All right. Um, and it, it varies. It's really probably closer to our median age is about 48, but we see stuff from 35 to 65 for the most part. Okay. The reason it's important to know your avatar is so that you're not wasting time marketing in other channels that people aren't a part of. Okay. Um, you want to research your target market. What are those people reading? What are they looking at? Uh, what are the things that they're looking at online? Okay. What are they looking to do? Well, many times they're looking to put their, their retirement or retire early. Okay. What are some of the things that is identified with that niche market that a lot of people they're going through that that you can understand, you can dive into and learn more about them. Because the more you know about your ideal client, the better you are as a sales guy, better you are as a marketing girl, you know, marketing guy or gal. That's going to help you more than anything else. Just to the front end to know those two. Okay. All right. Um, the third thing you want to do is establish your funnels goal. What is your goal with what you're going to do? Is it to get them to invest with you? Is it getting them to buy from you? Is it to go to a workshop with you? Is it just to get together and cook pies? Yeah, whatever your funnel is, it, it's okay. You just have to have some clear defined, clearly defined goals. And this is not always the easiest. Is it, is it sometimes, is it going to a Monday night webinar? Is it jumping on a podcast? You can have multiple funnels. You just got to understand where that funnel is going to take you. And a lot of times, I know I've been guilty of this. Our funnels are going one way and they don't always connect to where we want to go. We have to go back and fix things. So think about that. What's your funnel? People you meet at the local RIA club, What's their ultimate goal? What's your ultimate goal with them? Is it the, for them to be, get in your database and eventually fund something or buy something? Those are the things you get to think about, okay? Um, and you want to create that, that solution uh, to the, your database or your funnel in the form of a lead magnet. By lead magnet, it doesn't be anything fancy. It doesn't be an 80-page book. It could be a, a, a report that you're doing or a, a webinar or um, you know, recording, a video series some sort of lead magnet, okay, that's going to solve the solution. So I'll give you an example. If you're looking for somebody who's a homeowner looking to retire earlier, what's the big thing they're looking to do? They're looking for above average returns outside of CDs or IRAs, right? They're looking for something that they can invest or either learn, earn while they earn, learn while they earn, sorry. That's the form. So you, you want to create a lead magnet. It helps them. Hey, we'll help you learn while you earn, okay? 
you know, hey, we do a webinar. Um, Eric Hyde did a great uh, video today on Facebook talking about a deal in Alabama. Could have made a few changes to it, but it was still a really good video because he took the time to, to film it and then throw pictures of the property. It's a performing note. Great job. Should post it in bigger pockets. Should post it a couple places as well. So that's why it's important to know wh what kind of avatar you're going after, what's your, your target market, where they hang out, and so where to post the, the lead magnet so they fall into your funnel, okay? And, of course, setting up your funnel. Uh, it means, hey, if you are going to do a webinar, go ahead and create it, okay? If you're going to do a uh, create something, go ahead and get it done. Don't think about it. This is the – you've heard me talk about in the past about doing unfinished bridges, which we all su suffer with. You got to focus on one thing, get it done, go back and start something new. So set up your funnel. So really opt in here and what's the funnel aspect of things, okay? Now drive traffic to your lead magnet is, is the next thing. Some people are like, well, that should have come the other way. No, set up your funnel. You want to make sure your funnel's good. And then you want to drive traffic to it. Then you want to, that's the Facebook post, the LinkedIn post, the email blast. Hey, check out the webinar we're doing Monday night or check out my free report. Click on here to get your one page report on the three reasons why I love note investing, Okay. Those are all great things for you to do. There's a variety of lead magnets. You can have a lunch and learn in a local area. You could do a whole variety. Get my free ebook on IRAs, okay? Or check out the, get my copy of my blog on this one thing I wrote with Think Realty Magazine. There's a variety of ways to drive traffic to your lead magnet because ultimately you want people to click on that lead magnet, okay? And then just monitor your funnel. Once they get clicking and they start going through your funnel and start seeing things, you can see things. You can have multiple layers. Okay, we're going to be opted to report. Oh, after the report, we're going to opt you into uh, watching our webinar. After the webinar, I'm going to invite you to watch, listen to the podcast. After listening to that, a week, I'm going to invite you to a workshop. Or I'm going to invite you to meet with me for coffee, okay? Or I'm going to invite you out to the local RIA club again, okay? Um, and then once the important thing I think a lot of people struggle with is they never get around to having their affiliates to help promote it. Now, what I mean by affiliates, that could be your friends, your families, co-investors, your vendors, um, people that you work with. That's why you saw us promoting Quest IRAs event. They're an affiliate of us. You know, they're not only a sponsor, but we, it's a win-win. If we can help them open more accounts, it's a win for us with more investors. It's a win for them to promote us because we do a great job with marketing and we're glad to help them market. Okay. So that's what I want to get to with that one. Does that make sense before we move on to big, big idea number two? Now there's more involved with this than just the eight thing, but this is kind of the idea of things and i really i don't want to i don't want to detract from what we're trying to get at these are big ideas okay but these are the three biggest things that can help you those people those investors that have a clearly defined process and systems in their funnels and things like that are the ones that are more successful not only are they more successful they're, they're they were raising more capital they're closing more deals why because they have systems in place and they can set this up so they're not having to spend all the time going out and having one-on-one -on -one conversations they're having one conversation that they've recorded or re or built something or wrote something that they have that one conversation either recorded or written down so they can share that conversation with the many. Okay. Any questions, comments about the first big idea? Trust me, this is the longest one. So you don't have to worry about <laughs> it's going through so much stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, good question. Uh, Marissa, you ask a very good question. Can you apply this to reaching asset managers? Yes, let's go through that really fast. So identify your avatar. What's an asset manager look like? They're probably in their mid 40s to 60s. Okay, they work for a bank. Um, they have a special asset manager, secondary marketing manager as their title, chief credit officer. Um, your funnel goal is to get them to send you lists, right? So what's their problem that you have a solution for? Their problem is getting the stuff off their books, right? Non-performing note. So you may want to record, you might want to write up a, a simple book of why note investors are a great source for asset managers. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Maybe I should take my own advice here, okay? We'll talk about how you buy assets and you work with banks to help take bad things, bad debt off their books, okay? The funnel could be a webinar. It could be um, some very simple, like a quick little two-minute video, that you maybe record and throw it online. And then when you're going through LinkedIn, as you're a, connecting with asset managers, you maybe invite them to click and watch on the video, or you invite them to click on a link that you can see where they opt in with their first name, last name, 
Uh, or once they connect with you, you get their first name, last name, send an email out to them. There's a whole variety of how you can set that funnel up, okay? But you want to drive traffic, hey, you have non-performing notes on your books, we can help, okay? And you drive people to the webinar or the webinar recording or your ebook or whatever it is or your report that you get people to click on, collect their information. Now you just want to monitor your funnel. If you see that you've got a thousand clicks on your website or your link, but you only have five people that actually filled it out, there's a problem with your funnel. You need to go back and fix your, your landing page or your, your wording, okay? And then, of course, you may want to reach out to your servicing company or other people that they can maybe send that out to as well. Does that make sense, Marissa? Hopefully it does. But it's just you got to walk yourself through that a little bit, okay? Okay. All right, good stuff. All right, let's move on. Now, big big number, uh, big idea number two is something that I had been struggling with here <laughs> quite a bit. And I know a lot of you guys have had, had this as well. And it goes kind of goes in line with the whole uh, uh, not, uh, the content octagon, okay? Is, is And the idea of going direct. Now, one of the speakers, one of the best speakers of the whole event was a photographer turned Instagram expert, uh, Jasmine Starr, okay, who's become this well-known photographer literally in like the last four years. Her first three years, first three or four years, she became well-known, and she didn't even own a camera before then, using some of the things that she put in place with her marketing and her Instagram to really drive some stuff, okay? Uh, phenomenal photographer, great speaker, not a normal presenter, but she shared some really great nuggets about being an Instagram expert, okay? And honestly, this is one thing in our funnel or our marketing, okay, that is probably the slowest. When you look at the LinkedIn aspect and the Facebook growth, our Instagram growth has been slower than anything else. And I've been doing it all wrong. And I think a lot of people have been doing it all wrong, okay? Um, and there's a few simple twists or tweaks that you can do with it to really make things. She shared the idea of instead of you just posting photos with a million hashtags or a few hashtags, and then not getting any people to respond for you is that we're probably actually posting the wrong type of hashtags. Okay. <laughs> if you're looking for entrepreneurs or you're looking for homeowners, you probably don't want to put in there a hashtag entrepreneur or hashtag um, SDIRA. I don't know. Just going that many, the problem is that many of us are posting the hashtags of like-minded of what we think about versus what others are thinking about. So, let me give you an example. Let's say you were to know that, say, Chevron was going to be laying people off. It, you saw that you could post a, hey, is your retirement working? And then a hashtag Chevron, hashtag 401k, instead of the hashtag SDIRA, because you want people that are looking to invest their money with it. So that might be the, the way to do it. And then also, if you go out and find somebody who's used those type of hashtag, like, oh, you see somebody, oh, just got laid off, hashtag Chevron sucks, or hashtag Chevron, maybe you send a direct message. Hey, I work with a lot of investors that, Seen that a lot of stuff. Have you thought about opening a self-directed IRA to invest in? Have you thought about getting into real estate? Okay. Um, and using, like I said before, she shared with us that many of us are attracting the wrong audience with the wrong hashtags. And it's totally the truth. Okay. You want to look at, this goes back to knowing your avatar. Who's your ideal avatar? What are they dealing with? What are the hashtags that they're using? Okay. You know, hashtag family, hashtag retirements, hashtag certificate of disappointment, you know, those kind of things. And then the beautiful thing is you want to identify those users by those hashtags, seeing who's commenting on what, and then go ahead and follow them. And then feel free to send them a direct message. <gasps> what? I'm going to send a direct message to somebody I don't know? Yeah. Send them a direct message. Hey, saw that you liked your uh, Instagram post, stuff like that. Sorry to hear whatever. You got laid off a of Chevron. Have you thought about rolling your 401k over to a self-directed IRA? Have you thought about being a real estate investor? Uh, especially if somebody, you know, real estate sucks or fix and flop. Those are some things. So, so actually, that's a good question. Let me look here. I should have looked at this earlier, but I got a little sidetracked. Let's see if there is a fix and flop hashtag. Okay. All right. Search fix and flop. There's five public posts. All right, fix and flop. There's a few fix and floppers on here. All right, they're all real estate investors. 
looking for deals. Why fix and fl- why fix and flip suck? Who posted this? I have no idea who this is. I build furniture, restore cars, and vintage travel trailers. Or you and blog about? It. Okay, great. I'm gonna follow the guy. Why fix and flop stuff? That's what I'm trying to get. This is somebody I not follow. Well, I'm gonna follow him and then send a direct message. Now, the big thing about Instagram is that a lot of us are just using our website if we have one in our Facebook or our, um, LinkedIn profile or our, in, our Instagram profile. When you can use, I don't know if you can see that there. You can come in. Okay. You see there at the bottom where I have them click on the link. I want people going and listening to the podcast. Now I can change that link up in my profile to have it go to a lead magnet page or a bit link. You can have them, hey, go to watch my video on YouTube where it's got an opt in or get my free report. I saw that happen a lot with different things. Hey, get my free, you know, free pictures. That's what Jasmine used actually. Hey, get my free San Diego photos. And you can see people that opt in that way to a landing page. That's a phenomenal way of using your Instagram page to do a whole lot better. Okay. Um, now, the thing is, you can use your similar hashtags that you find on Twitter as well, uh, which is just, that's what kind of hit me square in the middle of my eyeballs. I'm sitting there like, oh, it's because it's all about creating one on one conversations. Okay. And that's what Twitter has been so great. And Twitter's got a lot more followers on Twitter than Instagram does, but they both use hashtags, right? If you think about it, using the hashtags to find people that liked wine and things like that. That's how Gary Vaynerchuk built his big following initially was reaching out to people that was using Twitter when it was this big, big thing and connecting one-on-one with people, giving them special discounts or following up. And that's the same thing you guys can do too. While you're sitting at home tonight, listening to me or watching TV or watching a movie there, just killing time. you be spending time on looking, tracking down hashtags and looking to connect with those people. And the beautiful thing is Instagram now allows you to follow hashtags, all right? So like one of the hashtags I started following this weekend was hashtag TCS 2018, Traffic Conversion Summit 2018. So I connected with about 100 new people over last week who were posting images or posting what they loved and things like that, and I wanted to connect with them, okay? So that's one of the great things you think about. There's an event going, home and garden shows might be a great one to look for. People are putting hashtags at Um those are the things to look at. Hashtag Quest IRA. If you're looking for Quest IRA clients, wink, wink. Okay. Those are the things I'm trying to get. And then you see people that like something and click on who liked, all right, or commented. That gives you kind of a, an easy way to look at it and say, oh, do we have something in common? That doesn't mean you just go connect, 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 connect. Click on their profile, see if they have something in common with you, and then send a direct message. What's the worst thing you're going to do? Delete your direct message? Yeah, exactly. But don't come across, hey, buy my shit. Okay. You know, buy my stuff or do you want to invest with me? That's kind of freaky. Okay. Hey, do you, I see a real estate investor here locally or so-and-so. Have you ever thought about note investing? Okay. I'd love to send you my free reports. And then the thing is that starts that kind of journey. Hey, then there, once you've got their email, then you send an email out, a newsletter out once a week on something you're focused on, or you're doing your videos like Katie Moton or Cody Cox are doing, or other people are doing that are sharing Eric Hyde, Gail Greenberg, they're sharing with their connections and that's building a better journey. That makes the reason Instagram is so great is so photo oriented. And the thing you got to realize everybody, some of you've already faded off. All right. This was surprising to me. A goldfish has a nine second attention span, nine seconds. They say Americans now, or we have an eight second attention span. So a goldfish has a longer attention span than we do. That's why Instagram is so great because you see a lot of people just sliding down looking at photos. I know Steph does this to me. What are you looking at? I'm just flipping through Instagram. I'm flipping through Facebook, okay? And that kind of takes me to the next thing we get to, but do you have any questions about the big idea number two? I know a lot of you probably aren't using Instagram in your business to post the pictures of your properties, the pictures of things. One of the things I'm doing as soon as I wrap up with this thing is uploading, I'll be uploading those two photos of those two REOs for my buddy, um, Joel, and let's say maybe you're looking for REOs. So maybe that's a hashtag you want to look at. Let me look here. Hashtag REO. 96,000 posts. And no, that's not REO, uh, REO Speedwagon. There's also foreclosure. Uh, I'm going to follow that one. And I see some stuff. I see somebody posted a picture here. Huge multi we just listed in Springfield. Two units spread over three floors and over 3,300 square feet space. Um, this is from Maximillionaire. 
Maximilian Macundo. He's a Connecticut Polish American, 1,200 followers. And he's got posts of a photo. So, yeah, I'll go and follow the guy. Okay. Uh, the previous slide that I posted back on there. Sure. Glad to. The previous one there, Karina. Jasmine Starr is great. Follow her on Instagram. Um, phenomenal. And she has a personal account. She hasn't converted her, her personal account on Instagram to a business account. So that's another opportunity if you're going to be using it is to convert it to a business account. She still uses a personal account because she still likes that very touchy basis that a personal account has since so she's doing photography for the most part. Okay. All right, Karina, take a, pull out your phone, take a quick shot as we move on. Okay. Um, our third big thing tonight is something that doesn't surprise me. Um, and it, you've heard me say this before, and I'll say it again. It was just reiterated a ton throughout PodFest. It was also reiterated a ton through traffic and conversion. And that video is the future. Whether you like it or not, video is the future. Okay? And uh, Mari Smith, who was the Wednesday morning keynote at 8.30 in the morning, who was glad to get up and listen to, this amazing Facebook expert who I absolutely enjoyed listening to. So she's got this really cool Scottish accent. She shared a lot of numbers about what Facebook is looking at. And Facebook loves video, loves native video. If you're sharing it like we are doing here tonight, live streaming this from Zoom into Facebook, Facebook loves it. Okay. If you're sharing short videos, 15 minutes or less, or uploading it, they're going to love that aspect of it because Facebook has some stuff that they have in the works that they're competing against some client uh, competitors. You have to keep in mind, if you know what they're trying to compete against for market share or people's eight-second goldfish attention spans, that's important to know, okay? So the, Facebook has a new thing called Facebook creators that they're growing. And it's just normal people like you and me out there that are creating content, sharing what's going on in our lives. Um, she shared a couple things about dog walking service, a mortgage broker, a real estate agent, some things using it. They're just creating what's going on, basically kind of the day in the life. It's almost like a, what our, our podcast started off with, nine months of Facebook Lives. What are you focused on today? What's going on? A little motivation aspect of things. I see some people like Leslie Koch, who's an investor who's also got a passion in, uh, in the restaurant industry, doing some great Facebook Lives, creating content. But Facebook Creators is a new bunch of things that Facebook is focusing on, okay? Now, Facebook is actually competing for market share with YouTube, Amazon and Netflix, okay? And you throw Hulu in there and stuff like that. Disney's got their own direct channel coming out. Everybody's competing for the videos, okay? Uh, Netflix expects to spend over a billion dollars. Um, billion of dollars or $6 billion? I don't remember the number. I could be off. On native videos just that are offered on Netflix. And you start seeing that Hulu, Hulu only, Netflix only, YouTube Red, all right? Or YouTube Live, Facebook Live. Facebook is going to be now launching series and stuff like that. And they may be looking for creators in the next six to 12 months to be featured on there. Okay. So my biggest thing to tell you guys is start creating now. Start creating your own content now. You don't have to jump through the hoops to go through like a flip this house or HGTV aspect of things. I've, got some, I've been through those things. Those are things I did not want to be a part of. I like what we do and that's where I'll stick to, but Start creating your content now. And the beautiful thing is you don't have to be experts. You don't need the big studio to do this stuff. So many of you can do this with a Logitech webcam and your smartphone. And just tell your story. Be you. You don't have to be Scott Carson. You don't have to be Mari Smith. You don't have to be Mark Zuckerberg. Tell your story, okay? Because that's what's going to draw people in to, do, to helping you out. And video is so much easier now. And so I kind of combined some of the things that Mari shared with us along with another guy by the name of Joel Com on some of the different video platforms that you guys can use to record yourself, okay? Now, these are simple, non-expensive uh, links or websites you use. And why am I sharing some of these? Because very few of you are going to use these, which is, it cracks me up. These are not expensive programs I'm about to share with you. Go to webinar it was $99 a month. That's one of the first things that I used and still can use it. Uh, go to webinar is a great recording. Do webinar, record it. You got a video, upload the video to YouTube, Vimeo where you want to. Zoom, zoom.us is what I'm using now to record this. And the beautiful thing is Zoom records as a video or they also, if I record to the cloud, record the audio separately that I can use in my podcasts. I can upload that to 
my podcast platform, I have an audio that literally does the stripping for me. Okay. It also allows me to share this to Facebook Live, to YouTube Live. But the most important thing is I use my Zooms as one of my big lead magnets or my webinars, my big lead magnet, because all of you registered for my webinar, all 250, 260 of you guys and gals registered. Now, those that watch on Facebook are watching the Facebook Live right now. Um, I don't have your information, which is okay. But if you do me a favor, just type in the hashtag Zoom, hashtag Zoom into Facebook if you're watching, and I'll make sure to follow up with a special thing for you, okay? Um, or I'll send you the links to these slides. We like the slides, okay? How's that sound? Um, but that's the beautiful thing. Those three things, YouTube Live, you can also, it'll live stream uh, either to Facebook Live or YouTube Live, all right? And those YouTube and Facebook Live are absolutely free. Zoom is not free. Zoom is probably the most expensive thing that I'll talk about tonight, okay? Um, Eric says, are there benefits of those video sources as opposed to my iPhone, for example? No, no, no. Uh, the reason they're a little bit better, Eric, is um, it's software. Uh, you can, I can run a Zoom. I can run a GoToWebinar. I can run a Facebook Live or YouTube Live straight off my iPhone, okay? But it's not, it's a little shaky, Okay. Um, if you run it off of your, uh, if you just did a Facebook Live, it's just going to go straight to Facebook, okay? If you're using Zoom, yeah, it's a little bit more better production quality, but you can use it as an easier lead magnet. Hey, here's a link. Register for my webinar, okay? So your iPhone's fine, and I still use a, a, a few things. And I can do a Zoom if I need to or a good webinar. It's just that it, it adds a little bit more, okay? Wouldn't you like it if people joined you? If you did a uh, every week, you did a Lunch and Learn. Or you did a lunch and learn, hey, I'm going to be live. Here, click on the link to register for my webinar. And you did your webinar directly from your phone in front of the house that you're looking at. Okay? Lots of great things to do that. Okay? Um, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, those are both free. Great things to use. Uh, Facebook Live is obviously going to love it. YouTube Live is going to love it. YouTube by Google, Facebook, you know, Zuckerberg. Using um, one of the biggest things I heard along the way is to make sure and share your videos. If you're using video on Facebook Live, download it, okay? And then you can upload it to YouTube. You can repurpose it, okay? That gets me to something I'll get to in a minute. Google Hangouts. Um, Google Hangouts are free. Um, they are. You get too many people on them or too long, they get a little glitchy. Um, using Zoom is a little bit more efficient technology uh, because you're linked into your computer. Um, if the internet goes out, then your computer goes glitchy as well, but it's not like a Google Hangout. We used to use Google Hangouts for our virtual workshops, and they worked for a while until we got too big, and then it would just crash all the time. The nice thing is if you do a Google Hangout, it automatically uploads it to YouTube for you, okay? Um, this is a cool new little software that we're using recently, BeLive.tv. Um, I used Zoom this morning when I had uh, Anne-Marie Hollins on from Quest IRA, because it was easier, we're going back and forth and stuff like that. Be Live, I used afterwards to film a one-on-one -on -one thing. And Be Live has some cool features to help you custom brand your your logos in there, or to be able to highlight questions from the audience or que uh, questions from your Facebook audience, or it pops up in the screen. So it's really pretty cool. Has a, a little bit of extra production value. It makes you look a little bit sharper. You can pick out the colors, your logos, some other things you can do. But well worth it. It's relatively cheap. I think it's uh, I pay two forty for a year. It's about twenty bucks a month, um, but literally looks makes you look really really sharp. Okay, um, live leap. Oh my gosh, this has helped save me a ton of time and helped me broadcast my uh, message across multiple platforms. Uh, literally, I go in, set up a live leap, and it's a couple hundred bucks a year. I can pick the groups that I manage it, for it to share to. It allowed to send out two thousand, you know, up to a couple thousand text messages. Hey, I'm about to go live. Okay, um, if I want to upload an email list to it, it'll automatically send an email. It'll also link into my Twitter account and my LinkedIn account to automatically post. Hey, Scott Carson's live now, and it inserts the links for people can they're scrolling through LinkedIn or scrolling through their Twitter. If I pop up, they can click on it and join it immediately. So if you come across seeing one of those things, do me a favor in the comments on Facebook Live. If you're watching, then just do a hashtag Live Leap. So I know, oh, I came across it in the middle of nothing and registered for it, okay? Really cool thing. Um, it, it just allows me to add, like I've got 38 groups. So we had little note closer groups we started across the country. Well, this video and our Note Night in America and things like that will automatically get shared immediately to it, okay? 
So that's the thing. You could start, you pick out which Facebook group or your Facebook profile that you want to start it from and it automatically will highlight when it sees you do a personal Facebook video or a business Facebook video. It'll also make grab that and share that across multiple platforms. So cool. Such a great little thing. Um, well worth it. We learned that at PodFast a couple weeks ago. Uh, repurpose.io, great, is another website that allows for you, if he sees that you upload a video to YouTube or you have a Facebook video, you can automatically pick, okay, I'm going to go ahead and share this. I need to upload this to YouTube. And it's one of the things that I do basically every day. Oh, let's go hit repurpose. It automatically runs and uploads it straight to YouTube or Facebook. Um, really kind of a cool thing. Saves a lot of time because you can automatically put the hashtags and things there. You don't have to wait for the thing to update, okay? Uh, and then lastly uh, is this new, brand new thing that we just saw that I love. I've been toying around with it a little bit today, a little bit over the last couple of days. Um, you've heard me talk about Canva, and Canva's great for images. Here's a, a um, German, I think is where they're from, um, company that is doing, it's like a Canva for video. Wave.video is a great website where it has all this pre, pre uh, filmed stuff that you can use and you can adjust it for the platform and it'll make help you make custom videos by using their info and their graphics. It's thousands and thousands of videos that you can use and put in your logo. You can put in wording across the video and it makes you look a whole lot awesome. A lot more awesome than you do. Absolutely one of the great nuggets from the, the weekend. A couple hundred videos, a couple hundred bucks to get signed up for that. But it is so well worth it. Yes, you can upload your own videos to it. So like Eric, that little video you did in your phone, maybe you want to take it and upload it to, to wave.video and you can start it off with there and then it transitions to you talking and transitions out to something else. So a lot of great production quality without being really expensive. And, and honestly, guys, we didn't talk about buying a $1,000 camera. I'm using a, you know, I think on this one's like a $79 Logitech webcam or we use our iPhones. Those are the two biggest things that we use record our videos most of the time. Yes, do I have a nice Yeti mic here? Yes, I do. But sometimes the Yeti doesn't work, so I go off the Logitech mic, or I'll use the mic and a $20 uh, lavalier mic. So it's really some great stuff out there for you guys to say. Yeah, you don't need to be an expert in video editing. You have to try this. Look, Marissa, do yourself a favor. Everybody else listening, most of the time, Um, you're going to want some great stuff. Now, I know most of you aren't going to use this. Most of these, you're going to see this and you're not going to do anything because you don't do anything anyway, okay? But honestly, if you're doing video, you're doing some things out there, you can really take your business to the next level. You can really do some great things out there and you won't be disappointed. And I have to give a big shout out. Steph's the one that originally found um, the last one there. And then I went and talked to the guys like, oh, that's it's, it's, it's it's a done deal. You can make yourself look really, really great. Question. Eric Hyde says, I'm pumped. That's awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. It's a little bit of cost. Me wrong. It's be a little bit of cost of some stuff. Um, yeah, Stacy, you you probably need to refresh because everything is moving. Go. All right. So any questions about that? Let's recap. Look, first thing you want to do, okay, just you just get a little mic. You go to uh, I have a Yeti mic. It's about 150 bucks. All right. I don't have a stand on this one, but Yeti mic on this one. You know, there's a whole variety of different microphones you can get. Okay. Anyway, um, with build a journey. Okay. You map out your ideal journey, what you would like to see, and what you would love to see happen. Okay identify your niche avatar so you know specifically what their problems. You can't be one all to everybody, okay? It can't be something to everybody. You have to kind of niche it down, and the more niche you get, the better off your journey is going to be. The more customized, the more ideas that they'll absolutely have, okay? Two, reach out to your audience, okay? Reach out to your tribe. Use the correct hashtags that they're using. Um, and some people use more hashtags, and that's fine, um, but use the right hashtags, okay? And then don't be afraid to start direct messages. Start those conversations through direct messages. It's a phenomenal thing. I've done some of it on Twitter, on Instagram, and I don't know why I don't do more of it. It's it's a effective tool to, because the idea is to announce the many and have the many come back with and being able to communicate with those people, 
Okay. And then finally, hey, don't be afraid to throw it on video. Don't be afraid to share what's going on. Create, you know, create, produce your own really kind of reality TV. There's easy to use tools and there's honestly zero excuses except laziness. You're just lazy if you're not doing any type of video and you don't have to have anything fancy. Yes, they have all sorts of new tracks and whole, you know, selfie sticks and other things like that for you to use. Okay. But literally don't let that stop you from doing things. You're not going to be perfect. Okay. Your hair is not gonna be perfect. Your makeup's not gonna be perfect. Share what's going on in your business and you'll be a lot better off. And those are the three biggest things that I think are, are was really surprising from this weekend more than anything else. Yeah, they talked about more podcasters taking place. They talked more about chat bots and things like that. But I get it. Most of you guys are, are, that's way beyond you guys. You need to start building that journey, start building that. Because I guarantee, guys, those that have a better journey, those that are able to communicate, reach out to their audience and more one-on-one -on -one conversations and they can share what's going on, they're going to have a whole lot more success a lot faster than if you're just sitting there on the sidelines. Okay. Now, a couple of things that we're going to be doing with some of the things that we learned, things that we're doing as well. Uh, first of all, is there any questions out there? Your Apple phone is fine, but I would just use if you're going to look for a webcam, a Logitech webcam, Best Buy. They have them anywhere from like 49 to 199. You can get the one in the middle, usually it works best. Announces Thursday. Um, I had somebody challenge me to this. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. We just had not gotten around to doing it. Is we are starting a WCN membership. Now, this is different than our uh, fast tracks and our workshops. This is something that we're going to be doing for people that want more help. Okay. People that want a little bit more handholding on a monthly basis. And we want to focus on those that are doing stuff on a monthly basis as well. So it's a monthly membership. We haven't finished building the website yet. So we're in the beta aspect of it. Um, we're offering up a hundred spots on the beta side at the reduced price of $97 a month. Now, the beautiful thing um, we put a week out to do this. We've got three days left to do this before we close it for uh, a while. We'll close it up after the virtual workshop for about a month and then reopen it back up as we finish some things. But we are doing some really cool things with this. Uh, there's going to be special member only trainings. So we'll go into some more of the new things that we learn and do those monthly trainings with people a little bit different. Not going to be every week, but we'll do definitely, definitely a monthly training. No, it's not going to be intro to this. It's going to be a little bit more advanced. If you're brand new to notes, not been, been through a workshop or note camp, this is probably not for you. Okay. Um, we are already getting special event discounts to events like paper source and the quest expos and things like that. Our vendors and our colleagues and peers love what we're doing and they're glad to help give us special codes for our members to help save you some money on that. Whether it's paper source or quest, I know that uh, Bill McCarl just sent me a discount code for our members as well. Um, vendor discounts. You know, Quest is offering a discount. Laughlin, um, Pro Title USA has got some different discounts out there. We've got more that are getting back to us. Literally, we've been thinking about this, talked to a few people, boom, let's launch it. And we've been just absolutely overjoyed at the amount of people that are excited about this. Obviously, we'll do a monthly newsletter highlighting our students, talking about what's going on, going through how to find deals. Uh, we'll have a private Facebook group as well. Uh, we're toying with the idea of converting the WCN crew existing Facebook page just to the members only session. So if you're not signed up for this, you're going to miss out on that stuff. But um, if you want to get signed up for this, you can go to bit.ly slash WCN membership, exactly as it shows there on the website, bit.ly slash WCN membership, where the WCN is capitalized and the M first M membership is capitalized as well. It's got to be case sensitive. It's $97 a month for the first 100 spots. The spots are filling up fast, and we're pretty stoked about this. Um, besides that, newsletter really sending out some pretty cool swag every month um, our, to our extended note family on some really cool stuff that we've got put together. We got some books from several people that have just recently published some stuff on the note business and other things that are glad to give us those. 
uh, or that we're buying, I should say, is a better way that they're not really giving. We're buying them and getting ready to send them out to you guys for that are all signed up here for you. So something to look forward each month. You know, some swag each month, special training, special discounts. Um, we'll be t- probably doing a bi-monthly training, not every week, but at least probably twice a month on special member-only training. Like I said, it's not intro stuff. It'll be a little bit more advanced, but it's a great way for you to really kind of keep things rocking and rolling. I know a lot of people love these Note Night in Americas, but after we hit those 100 spots, it's going to bump up to 149, I believe, 149, 147. We are finalizing that here. But uh, we've got three days left for the intro beta before we open it up to our full database on this stuff. We have been just posting it to our WCN crew. And then I thought I'd share it tonight with you guys because a lot of you guys are on here and may not be spending time on Facebook. So lots of great stuff for you guys. Questions? Thanks, Bill. Glad you enjoyed it. Thanks, Alfred, for sharing it. Um, Will I provide tapes from Asset Managers as membership? No, we provide the tapes to our mastermind group, okay? Um, We'll talk about how we're finding those tapes, though, all right? We'll show you how we find those because that's like one of the biggest things. I'm not going to get in here and give you specific deals for $97 a month. Sorry. It's, it's worth If that's the case, I would charge you a whole lot more than that. Okay. But we'll go through, hey, here's how we're finding some of these things. Here's are the things that we're doing. Here's a, a tool that we used in LinkedIn. Here's a tool that we're using. Or, hey, Brett Paloma has got a really great special offering. He's offering for Distress Pro. Okay. Those kind of things are going to be in there. Yes. Hey, we'll break down deals. We'll break down um, assets. You know, going through those things. I'm not saying you won't get a little earlier access to things because that's what will happen, especially if we do a, a note night in America where we're doing a draft or going through the assets. You'll probably get the list sooner than, actually, I will guarantee that you'll get the list sooner than the general public where you know, start looking at stuff. But our note mastermind group, they're always going to get first crack if the tapes are available, usually as early as possible. Okay. But we're here to help you out with rock and rolling. Our goal is to really get you rocking and rolling and, and, Focus on those that want to help us out because that's kind of where we're focused on things is helping those that really want to help themselves with some things. Okay. We still to be doing the note night in America's that are open, but um, we're just transitioning, making some additions to that. We can help streamline our businesses as well. Okay. Um, it'll be month by month. When you get signed up, it shows for a 12 month time frame on it. You can cancel at any time. Um, if you don't like it, if the first month or two months, that's fine. You're more than welcome to cancel. Um, and you, if you sign up at the beta price, you'll be guaranteed that $97 a month as long as you're in good standing. So, yeah, if you, hey, six months from now, you're like, oh, I'm not interested in the notes aspect. There's no penalty to cancel. Okay. Um, let's see. Gail says, I want to send you an email. From that. That's fine, Gail. Um, awesome, Gail. Just make sure and drop uh, myself and Steph. Uh, if you send just a few days ago, I have been bombarded from being out of the office. So just hit resend and send it to me sometime sooner. Okay. All right. Awesome. Any other questions out there for you guys and gals that are out there, guys, uh, those hundred spots, I will tell you this, those hundred spots, initial spots are filling up fast. So take advantage of it. Grab your beta access. We'll have uh first Newsletter go out next week after note camp uh, for those first initial spots. And then that way, and then we'll close it until probably, uh, I mean, sorry, we'll close it this after this next week for a while. Let's get tweaked up on everything. And then we won't reopen it back up till note camp, but it will not be at the 97 price after note camp 5.0. I can promise you that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to be closing down that group. They're booting those out that aren't members of that group. Yes. So, yeah, if you really love that group, hey, sign up for it. Okay. All right, everybody. Well, hey, that's going to wrap it up for this Note Night in America. Hopefully, these were valuable tools for you. Hopefully, some great ideas, uh, you know, that you can – implement. You can look at some of these things. I don't expect you to all implement them all. You probably just do a drop in the bucket. That's what but a drop in the bucket each day or each month gets you closer up to where you need to be. It helps you raise your success up a little bit of time. And that's the only way we get better. You're not going to have, you're not going to snap your fingers and be a complete expert or closing on thousand no deals in one day. 
Okay. But you can get a little bit better so that in a year or two years or five years when you look back and wow, look how far I've come. Okay. So that's all that I've got for you guys tonight. Go out and make something happen. Thank you for joining us on Note Night in America. Hopefully this was valuable for you. Otherwise, uh, we see you all at the top, everybody. Have a great evening. Bye.